joined with John Still ahead of our match against Woking. Uh, yeah, so give us your thoughts on our last game against Aldershot Town, where we managed to draw in the last minutes of the game. Yeah, um, always going to be a tough game, Aldershot away. Um, I thought we played quite well. Didn't think there was a lot in, the f lot in it in the first half. They scored and might, quite possibly might have thought they deserved to uh, to be at. But I thought I thought we played okay. Um, I don't think either goalkeeper had a shot to save in the first half. Uh, I thought we came out uh, second half and I thought we took the ascendancy a little bit. I don't, I don't think there's a lot in the game, but I thought we took a slight ascendancy. Um, obviously, the, the, the sending off um, has not helped them and, and probably helped us, but I, I thought we had the ascendancy. And um, I, we were talking online and saying that we, we're going to get, we felt we would get opportunity. Then they go down to 10 men. Uh, and in, in a way, I know it helps you, but if like it, if it's if, if the team that gets one sent off um, are losing, they can f sort of attack a bit more. They sat very deep and made it difficult for us. But you know, we, we just said that if we can keep working hard, we know the desire of the team is strong because we've come back on four or five occasions this year, late in, in games as well. So we didn't have any problems with that and. It was trying to find the right opportunity, but they played very, very narrow, stopped us going through them, which if you've got something to defend, you would do, and they'd done it very well, and they worked very hard. Um, and it was a matter of waiting for the opportunity. We had the opportunity, I think, with Corey White there, he put the ball over the bar from four or five yards out, which was a, a golden opportunity, a golden opportunity. Um, and it's waiting for the next chance. The next chance came from a, a corner that was a great finish from Lingy, a great finish. Um, and even then we said we might have a chance of, of winning because we had the ascendancy, we didn't. Um, away to all the shot, away to any of the, the teams that you would think are going to be there and thereabouts, you've got to be happy to get something. Um, I don't think we played very well uh, on, on the, the game previous, Torquay. I thought we played a lot better on Tuesday against a good side and was away from home and uh, thought we got a deserved point. Of course you mentioned about Sam Ling, how, how crucial has he been this season because he's been starting a lot of games and he's already scored two goals as well with being yeah. a, a fullback. For this. Yeah, we, we, um, the, 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 the thing with Sam, we liked him last year but he, he, you know, he kept getting recurring injuries uh, but we, we liked him, he started the season at right back with Nani injured and Pennell playing and then Luke Pennell got injured and so Sam's comfortable on both sides. Uh, and he's done very, very well. We, we all think he's a, he's a good player. We like Sam. He's a great lad. Obviously, he comes from a football family with his dad, with Martin, who's a good friend of mine. And uh, I'm delighted for, for, for Sam and delighted for his dad that his boy's sort of progressing nicely and uh, has come up with a couple of important goals, both late goals as well. As I said before, you know, what I, don't doubt, I don't doubt the, the effort and work rate and desire of, of the team because you know I, I don't think we're ever in a game that we say we're beat. Um, I really don't and we've lost two games this year and one against Sutton I thought was an even game I don't think we deserved to, to, to win but I don't think particularly to lose and the other loss at Halifax I thought we deserved to win by two or three goals the performance deserved to win. Um, so. You know, to, to go to all the shot and, and not get beat, I'm, I'm happy with them. You know, for me at the moment, we're, 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 our attacking strength has, has been brilliant all season. And uh, for a couple of games, not looked as sharp up front as, as we can, but football being football, that can change in an instant. Yeah, and is there anything on the players that are injured at the moment? Are they coming back? Do they look to come back uh, um, for the coming well, games? All, all, all for, all of the ones that, that we would be looking at, which is sort of long-term um, ones really, with, with Dan Sparks and Michael Cheek, uh, are both doing a form of training without joining in with us. Now, I would think they'll both be looking to join in next week sometime. Uh, Luke Pennell has not been out as long, but I would think that Luke Pennell would possibly be pushing on uh, with us next week. Um, and. 
we, we'll obviously be, be, be happy with that. Yeah, and uh, we'll end off with our next opponents, of course, Woking. Um, they've been doing really yeah, well this start. season. Yeah, good start. Um, I think the, the league is strong this year. People are saying, um, well, it's so, so tight, is it not such a good league? I actually think it's the op opposite way around. If you look at the teams that are struggling down the bottom, they've been beat sometimes 1-0. You know, odd goals, and I just think that teams are organised and disciplined and tough, tough to play against. We played Torquay Saturday, and I thought they was good. We watched them the week previous, like home to Halif uh, to uh, Macclesfield, and they didn't deserve to get beat. They really didn't. And I see they've won four the other night. And I think that puts into perspective how good a result that what we got against them in the end. Because uh, listen, I know some of their players. They're a good side. They've had a change of manager that's given them a little boost. Um, and all, all the sides that are in that bottom group are, are tough games and you know you expect the teams up the top to be tough but the teams down below are tough and uh, we have to be tough and we have to be determined and you know it's, it's small margins sometimes winning and losing can be small margins and we have to make sure we get all of the small margins on our side of the fence and not the other side of the fence oh, well thank you very much John Cheers. Thank you.